MasterChef finalist of last year, Ben Ungerman, is in the kitchen with me today. Your food was spectacular on MasterChef. Weird flavours, mm -hmm. but the judges loved it because it worked somehow. You're going to be creating something for me that's a little bit weird and wonderful today. Yep, we're doing something a little bit different. So we're going to be doing a poached pear mm -hmm. with a dark chocolate and blue cheese sauce. Um, and then it'll be with some pistachios and also some ice cream, of course. Dark chocolate and blue cheese. Mm -hmm. I have never tried that. I can definitely say I haven't tried that, but I'm very interested in it. So what do we need to do first? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get some wine. Place on your pot, because mm -hmm. this is what we're going to be placing the pears in. Did you want to actually... A whole bottle of wine. <laughs> a whole bottle. Did you actually want to um, peel the pears? I can do that. And then we can core them as well. Sure thing. Um, 150 grams of sugar in with the wine as well. And then you just want to put a sprig of rosemary. Beautiful flavours to poach pears. And you can poach them in anything, but yep. sugar syrup that has wine in it and yep. rosemary, great yep. flavours. So since MasterChef, what have you been up to? Um, so I had a dream of opening up a, uh, a Dutch restaurant. But uh, as soon as the show finished, I was just inundated with messages from fans to uh, open up an ice cream parlour. So that's what I did. Because on MasterChef, I think almost every dessert dish you did, you served really interesting ice cream. So that's what you yeah. were known for in the yeah, end. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a real passion of mine. So I like um, being a little bit quirky with my flavours. So yeah, it just seemed like the natural thing to do. Beautiful. Just while you're doing that, I'm yep. just going to get started on the pistachios. Mm -hmm. These are some pistachios that I've just soaked in some water. Mm -hmm. um, so we place the sugar in there, just so the sugar will really grab to the pistachios. Oh. So these are almost like uh, candied pistachios. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. So we just place them in the tray, mm -hmm. spread them out so they'll cook evenly. So these are just going to go into the oven for about 15 minutes at about 180. All right, finally finished my pears. Took me a while. <laughs> and that has come to the boil. Yep. So what's the next stage? So we just place them into the wine and also the sugar. Perfect. Mm, it smells so good, yeah. that combination. So these need to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and while that's cooking and then also the pistachios are in the oven, let's get onto this uh, crazy blue cheese and dark chocolate crazy sauce. Crazy indeed. Blue cheese, I would put that on a cheese board, but chocolate, tell me why, how does it work? So I wanted a little bit of uh, depth of flavour to the mm -hmm. chocolate sauce and cheeses pair really well with like pears, yes. apples, things like that, which was my thought process behind it. So with the ice cream there to add a bit of sweetness to it, it's going to be quite yummy. Yeah, okay, we'll see. I promise you, Justine, <laughs> this will definitely work. All right. <laughs> and that's about 25 grams of blue cheese, mm -hmm. 120 mils mm -hmm. of cream. And there's a little bit of water down the bottom of that yeah. pot just so it's not touching the bowl yeah. and it's going to slowly melt together until That's it's correct. glossy. And we're doing this ahead of time. These are going to take about 15 minutes. Yes. So you do want that chocolate to cool down yeah, a little Yeah, bit. we do want it to cool down. It'll thicken up too, so when you place it on the pear, it'll run down really nicely. <gasps> it's almost like a pear Belle Helene, that classic chocolate and pears mm -hmm. with blue cheese. With blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben, well, let's wait for these pears to finish cooking. That chocolate to melt will bring the whole thing together. Sounds good. <laughs> Okay, Ben, the pears are cooked, they've cooled down nicely, and this is looking delicious. These pistachios, 15 minutes. Yeah. Mmm, so crunchy. It's like little bits of candy. Yeah, that's it. Mm, so the first good. thing you need to do for plating up is mm. we want to put this down as a bit of a base. Okay. So we'll just break them up. Yum. That is so good. And it's that little tip that you gave by soaking the pistachios or any nut that you're going to use in water first, mm -hmm. draining it off yeah. and then having that sugar around it so it sticks. It'll just help, mm. yeah, the uh, sugar stick and then give it a really nice caramelisation. Yum. Oh. There we are. And this is another thing that we all learn on MasterChef. Texture is important mm -hmm. when you're eating. Mm -hmm. So this is the crunchy component yes, of the definitely. dessert. Yeah, so you'll have the crunchy component, then you'll have the really beautiful soft poached pears. Mm. The vanilla ice cream that'll go with it as well. So there'll be a few textures. And you brought in some delicious vanilla I did. ice cream. I did. I'm gonna I get pinched it. some from the store. Ben, you're now my new best friend because it's not just a little bit of ice cream. You brought me a whole tub of ice cream. Look at the vanilla bean through that. You seriously can make ice cream, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to pop the uh, pear on now. Yep. So these have cooled down. Mm, I can smell the rosemary that you added mm. to that wine syrup. Stay. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to add the uh, dark chocolate and blue cheese sauce. Mm. Let me smell. 
there. You can smell the the blue cheese, blue but cheese. it's not overpowering. No, no, no. And even even when you're um, you're eating this, mm. the blue cheese just adds a bit of savouriness to it. It's yep. not too full on. And it's really sticking nicely to the pear. Yeah, exactly. And the ice cream. Am I allowed to have a little taste? Yeah, go for it. Oh, look how glossy it is. Mm. Is there anything better than vanilla bean ice I don't cream? Think like you can really go past it. good vanilla bean ice cream. Ben, this is truly the science of flavour combinations. Yep. Putting the blue cheese with the chocolate. I should stop talking and just have a taste, right? So the sweetness of the ice cream will take the edge off the savouriness of the sauce. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That is an interesting combination. You know what? This is quite a simple dessert. Mm -hmm. We're poaching pears, making a chocolate sauce, mm -hmm. and we've got one of the best ice creams I've tasted <laughs> with it. But you can make this at home and your guests will love this because it's a conversation that you're having. Like, what is that flavour? There's something else in that chocolate sauce and you don't know what it is. This is a really cool way of jazzing up good old pear. Thanks, Ben. No problem. Thank you.